Hi, and welcome back to the Baby Cubby. Today we're gonna to be featuring the Kleck Foo Convertible Car Seat, which seats children between 14 to 65 pounds. Let's get started. Right off the bat, you'll notice the Foom's modern design and high quality fabrics to suit stylish parents' lifestyles. The fabrics are free of added flame retardants. Its rigid latch system makes proper forward-facing installation effortless. The Foomf includes a smooth three-position recline function to make sure your child is comfortable. Its adjustable headrest is energy absorbing and lined with EPP foam. It's connected to the frame using steel rods to provide maximum head protection in case of a side impact collision. Foomf prides itself on being built like a tank. Because it's less than 17 inches wide, it can be installed three across in most vehicles or leaves more room for other passengers. It's designed to allow most kids to remain rear facing until their fourth birthday, so your kids are extra safe. Its anti-rebound bar keeps kids much safer in rear facing mode as well. The adjustable crotch strap and six different harness heights fit a wide range of sizes and ages of children. Now let's go over the installation process and first we'll start with rear facing mode, which is most suitable for children from 14 to 50 pounds and from 25 to 43 inches tall. To start, you'll need to begin by attaching the rear facing base to the bottom of the foom. Place the car seat on its back. Make sure the base's tabs are facing upward and then line them up with the corresponding holes in the base of the car seat. Insert and pull up until it locks into place. If you prefer to use the latch system, just make sure to be aware that there is a weight limit of 40 pounds. Begin by placing the foomf onto the vehicle seat and then recline it as far back as possible. Remove the crotch strap cushion and seat pad by unfastening the black tabs on the front edge of the car seat. Set these aside. Open up the blue lock-offs. Disconnect the lower connectors from their storage compartment. Use the gray button on the adjuster to lengthen the strap. Insert the connectors through the opening in either side of the foomf and then attach them to their respective lower anchors in the vehicle seat. Make sure that the latch strap is underneath the black tabs between the blue lock-offs. Push down on the car seat with one hand and pull out the slack in the latch strap with the other. Close the lock-offs over the strap. Check your installation, making sure the foom doesn't move more than one inch in any direction. Reattach the seat pad, making sure to thread the crotch buckle through its opening. If you prefer to install using the vehicle seat belt instead, begin by removing the seat pads and setting it aside. Open up the blue lock offs. Pull down the seat belt and thread it through the same rear facing belt path openings. Buckle the seat belt and pull out the slack. Make sure that the seat belt is routed underneath the black tabs between the blue lock offs. Push down on the car seat with one hand and pull out the slack in the seat belt with the other. Close the lock offs over the strap and check your installation. Reattach the seat pad, making sure to thread the crotch buckle through its opening. Now we'll review the forward facing installation. This is gonna be best for children between 20 to 65 pounds and 30 to 49 inches tall. But as always, we'd recommend keeping them rear facing as long as possible. Start by removing the rear facing base by placing the car seat face down. Pull the release lever away from the car seat and move the base up to release it. Now remove the anti-rebound bar by reclining the seat as far back as it can go. Remove the seat pad and then undo the latch clips from their storage slots. Remove the pins and bolts from each side. Push down on the anti-rebound bar to remove it. Store the latch clips away and reattach the seat pad. To use the vehicle seat belt to install, begin by adjusting the recline to be upright. Remove the tether hook from its storage location on the back of the seat and lengthen the strap as needed. Attach it to the tether location in your vehicle loosely. Now open the red belt lock off and route the vehicle seat belt through the forward facing belt path by following the red guides. Make sure nothing is twisted and buckle the seat belt. Pull everything tight to remove the slack and then close the red lock off over the shoulder strap. Tighten the rear tether and then check your installation. To use the rigid latch method instead, you'll begin by following some of the same steps. Adjust the recline so the foomf is upright. Remove the tether hook from its storage location on the back of the seat, lengthen the strap, and attach it loosely to the tether location in your vehicle. Pull on the black leather in the front of the car seat while also pulling out the forward-facing rigid latch connectors. Attach them to the anchors so that the indicator turns green. Then pull the black lever again and push the foomf against the vehicle seat until the top of it touches. Tighten the rear tether and then check your installation. We truly love the Foomf because as Fleck points out, it's built like a tank, but it doesn't sacrifice any of that modern design that stylish parents love. Thanks for watching. If you like this product or any of the other products that you see in our videos, make sure to shop them at babycubby.com. Any order over $25 qualifies for free shipping. If you wanna learn about another convertible car seat that we love, click here. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you wanna see next, and we will see you next time.